I'm a former visa officer, and what should you do after you've been refused your visa? First of all, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry that you've been refused your visa, especially if you know that you intended to go to the US, do what you said you were going to do, and then return to your country. That is exactly what you need to intend to do in order to qualify for a visa. And so I do hope that you're able to get your visa issued in the future. Now, how are you going to get there? Well, the first thing that you need to do is calm down. Don't send any emails, right? Don't do anything rash that's gonna add derogatory information to your visa record. You need to think about what happened and you need to contact an expert to figure out what happened if you don't know what happened. There's a lot of videos where we talk about the reasons why someone's been refused. The main reason though is just because the visa officer was not convinced that you were going to do what you said you were going to do. It's not because you did or said anything wrong. It's not because, oh, you said that, oh, you weren't supposed to say that word, you said that word. Now, if you go in again, you don't say that word. Or, oh, you put your mother as your sponsor, should have put your father as your sponsor. That's not why people get refused visas. They get refused visas because the visa officer starts from the point of thinking, you do not qualify for a visa. And unless you say the right things, about your credentials. Unless you present that information and the, and the visa officer knows what credentials, what qualifications you have, then you're left here at the bottom where the visa officer has no confidence and does not trust that you're gonna use your visa. That's where they start. That's where the law tells them to start. Everyone's default is refusal. And if you don't raise them above that bar of confidence where they need to be in order to issue your, your visa, you get refused. So you need to figure out what it was that you did not present to the visa officer or how you didn't present it correctly that led them to not gain the confidence and the trust that they need in your credentials and your intentions to give you a visa. I hope that you're able to figure out what that is. If not, you come to us. My colleagues and I, we're all former visa officers. We've worked in 35 different countries. We speak 14 different languages. We've done over a million visa interviews. We know what contributes to a visa officer's thinking when you have that visa interview and you either get refused or you get issued. So you come to us and you find out why. You find out then what can you do differently in the next visa interview. It's going to be a strategy. What you need is a strategy. Everyone's strategy is going to be different. It's going to be based around your personal situation and whatever your highlights are and whatever your hurdles are that you need to overcome. Because everyone's situation is different. And I know this, well, from experience, but also from speaking to you and every time that I give general information, people say, oh, but what about me? What about my situation, right? That's exactly how you should be thinking about it, right? I've given you general information, general tenets and guidelines and principles that are gonna help you in your visa interview. And I also get a lot of feedback from people that they put those into action and some of them are able to get their visas issued. And that is awesome. I'm so glad that these videos are able to help. Most of the time though, it's gonna take a little bit more than just general information. We're gonna to have to address the specifics of your case, your finances, your education, your profession, your family ties, your international travel, your visa application history, to give you the strategy and the tactics for the interview that are going to help you get your visa issued. So after you figure out why you're issued and you develop that strategy, now it's time to implement. Now it's time to practice putting that strategy into effect. How do you go in and how do you speak, right? throw some curveballs at you, right? We're gonna do mock interviews with you. We're gonna make you start from different different points. We're gonna have, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna pretend to be officers, maybe that are in a bad mood. Maybe they're gonna rush you. Maybe they're gonna interrupt you. We're gonna put you through the ringer so that you are prepared for whatever you're going to encounter in the visa interview, right? Because you're not passive, you're gonna be active. You're an active interviewee in the visa interview. This is how you are going to succeed at getting your visa issued after you've been refused.